key on this move for me is actually the hand pass over, right? This is where people don't really make it look smooth and then it doesn't really get into the action. What's Racking Jump Nation family? It's your boy Hiroshi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. I've got a two minute tutorial Tuesday for you today and we're gonna be covering the Mayweather warm up routine. More in particular, it is the move that he pretty much always does every time he picks up a skipping rope. Um, and you guys have seen it and it looks super cool. And what it's really good for, uh, apart from just looking really cool, is the fact that it gets his rhythm going, gets the blood moving around the body and just gets everything fired up ready for his sessions. First things first guys, is how are you gonna really grip the rope as you're doing this move okay then we're gonna get into kind of the techniques what you really want to do is I've always talked about holding your index finger through the rope like this as you do your side swings right so I've always talked about doing this that's the made with the warm-up routine here but the moment you put this rope through your legs you're gonna to have to stop using this method right this is the method that I've always shown on doing your one-sided side swings you're gonna stop this and you're gonna to have to move to a kind of tennis racket grip and you're gonna to start to grip it just at the top of the handle. So where you see the vinyl, you wanna get the vinyl and you wanna get a bit of the handle. You don't wanna be here, cause that's gonna to lead to problems. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. You're gonna be here, right? So you got a lot of handle excess on the other side. Your first movement, right? So whether you're left or right handed, you're gonna to go to the opposite side. So I'm right handed. I'm gonna to go to my left hand side, right? I'm gonna pass from my right to my left hand. My left knee comes up, right? And the way you're gonna make this look smooth, yeah, is you're gonna just try and stay bouncing. You're gonna try and look nimble. You don't wanna look stiff and just be like stretching your hands out everywhere. You wanna keep it nice and tight. As you pass it, you kinda of wanna bring your knee up, chest comes towards the knee, okay? Remember, not too stiff. When you're trying to pass like this, it's gotta look cool, guys. It's gotta look nice and smooth. Now, when it comes to passing your arm, guys, what you're gonna do is when you pass your arm through, you're gonna twist your forearm over. Hope you can see this, right? You're gonna twist your forearm over like this and you're gonna grab it with your left hand. Now, when it comes to grabbing it with your left hand, to really show you this, what's happening underneath the legs, imagine my right hand's passing it to my left. As you come to taking this rope, you're gonna literally place it right in between your thumb and the kind of where your index finger starts, all right? This is really key. And what it's gonna make sure it does, like what it's gonna prevent is the rope slipping out your hand and flying behind you. I've done this before, I've done this in the gym. Trust me, it does not look cool. And it's really embarrassing. But when I learned the technique, you really wanna have this thumb sticking out like this and you clasp it and you grip it from that thumb, that little kind of bit here in between your palm. And as you do that, you're gonna make sure that the rope never really slips out your grasp and you're gonna make sure that the, the, the motion stays fluid. So the motion is this, right? Hopefully you've got the, the grip right. The motion is this, as you go from right to left, all you're doing is a figure eight with the rope. You're just doing this. That's what the rope kind of looks like. And all you're doing is just passing it from one side to the other like this. So one, two, pass through. One, two, pass through. One, two, pass through. You can do it different ways. You can have a few more swings if you want. A Couple of times on each side. But the Mayweather one is always one, two, pass. Something I use when I'm warming up as well. It's really nice, engages your core as you're kind of bending down, raising the knee as well is good for coordination and balance and things like that. And the reason why Mayweather does it is just because he's boss and he knows he's boss, but it does really help in whatever sport you're trying to compete in and also for your fitness kind of goals as well. So I've kind of gone well over the two minutes, I can already tell. I'm not gonna try and <laughs> yeah, justify it, but this was a tutorial that hopefully helps you uh, and makes you kind of understand the techniques that are used by the money man. If you haven't already and not sure about what ropes to buy, right here, rushathletics.co.uk. We're also available on most major Amazons, ship next day, whatever you want to call it. So without further ado guys, I'll see you in that next tutorial. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace.